With your hands in the clear. What do you want? Who are you? The Green Hornet. Yes. I'll answer my questions if you value your life. Are you in charge of this lab? Yes. Yes, I'm the... I'm the chief chemist here. Why are there so many fatal accidents here? Speak up. We're working with very dangerous chemicals. What are you making? I... I cannot tell you. I'm sworn to secrecy. But you are going to tell me. What are you making? An anti-aircraft bomb. Why should that work be so dangerous? Don't lie to me. Give me the details. I, I can't tell you. It's a government secret. What government? Answer me. I, I, I can't tell you. They killed me. Find the main switch and cut off the current. Can't get him out of here now. Is he dead? No. Just badly shot. Where was that explosion? You got me. Unless it came from the lab. That's it, the lab. You call the others. The guard. We'd better go. Just a minute. Weaver may be carrying something interesting. explains his invention, doesn't it? Yes, Mr. Britt. The inventor itemized every detail of his anti-aircraft bomb. Supplied with these, our anti-aircraft defenses would be impregnable. Yes, and in the enemy's hands, our attack would be highly ineffective, wouldn't it? Absolutely ineffective, sir. The bomb works on the scientific principle of magnetic attraction. That means particles, highly magnetized, will automatically move with great speed toward metal. Well, in other words, uh, once the bomb explodes, the fragments would tend to find their own targets, which in this case would be the motors of the attacking planes. Is that right? That is correct. And according to this, every airplane within a thousand feet of the explosion will be hit. That's very ingenious. Say, so, do you know anything about this Dr. Bedlow? His name is in the book. Yes. He's an inventor and a very well-rated scientist. Could he have been the man in the laboratory? Absolutely not, sir. I know the doctor by sight and by reputation. Still, he might be mixed up in this anti-aircraft bomb business. I do not think so. He's a scientist, living entirely in a world of abstract thoughts. 
Suppose you go to his place for some advice on one of your own inventions. I'll be very glad to do so. I'll go this evening. Good. You might find out something important about the identity of the inventor of the anti-aircraft bomb. Think hard, Weaver. Was there anything else in that notebook the Hornet took from you beside the layout of that bomb? You better come clean with us. I've told you repeatedly there was nothing in that notebook except the electrical and chemical formula. No names? Here are uh, telephone numbers. None except Dr. J.C. Bedloe's. Bedloe's? Who's he? Does he know anything about this bomb? He knows all about it. I've been consulting with him privately all the way through. Holy cats! Wait a minute. Wait till Manny hears of this. Sit down, Weaver. We're not through with you yet. See, Weaver has a partner that's been working with him on that anti-aircraft bomb. A partner? Then he must know all about the bomb. Who is he? A Dr. Bedlam. His name is in that notebook the Hornet took from Weaver. We've got to get hold of him right away and stop him from talking. I'll make that Weaver tell me where Bedlow lives. Get Bedlow. Take him out to Foley's old house on the Fulton Road. Here's the key. Better take Dolan with you. I'll have someone else watch Weaver. What's a good word? We got the anti-aircraft gun. Good. And the right type for the anti-aircraft bomb. It's out where we're going to make our test? No, it's still at the factory. But you said you had it. Now, look, this thing is risky. It takes a lot of figuring out. I know all about that. What about our undercover man, Evans, at the factory? He's done his job, all right. But you was to let me know when the right type of guns were coming through and being delivered. He sent me word today. And now it's up to us to pick one off. Is that it? That's right. They're being delivered to the armory late this afternoon. The gun we want will be on a covered truck heading out along the Red River Highway. The bombs are all ready, which means we can make our test tonight. I'll phone Manning to hijack that gun. Manning talking. Yes, boss. They're right here. What's up? Something important? Mm hmm. Yes? The Red River Highway. All right. I'll send the boys right out so they can find a suitable place to operate. Well, it's up to you two now. What is? The gun we've been waiting for is leaving the factory at 4 o'clock in a covered truck. Good. Where do we pick it up? I'll show you. Hey, now, slow down. If them things are what they look like from here... That's just what they are. This fellow's alive. They hijacked us. They got away with the anti-aircraft gun. Anti-aircraft gun? Who did? Tell us, man. We gotta get this man to the hospital. Listen, as fast as we can make it. How about the other one? We take him to the morgue and notify the police. Why, can you imagine running into a story like this? <laughs> See Dr. Bedlow? Yes. As I was driving toward his home, I saw Dr. Bedlow struggling with two men who were dragging him from his house. They threw him into a car and drove away. Did you follow them? Yes. They took him to that house on Fulton Road, the place where we had the trouble with that Mr. Foley. Foley's house. And Dr. Bedlow's in the hands of the racketeers. I am sure he is. Let's get the Hornet outfit. We're going to call in Dr. Bedlow. Pretty smart inventing that anti-aircraft bomb. I wouldn't have had a thing to do with it if I thought for a minute it was going to fall in the hands of criminals. Wait a minute, Bedlow. Who's a criminal? You are. Keep your hands up. The Green Hornet. 
That's right. I am the Green Hornet. Mm. What do you want? I wouldn't do that if I were you, Doctor. I came here to help you. No, the Green Hornet never helped anybody. You're a master criminal. You are the innocent victim of a dangerous plot that may involve our country. Shall I tie these men up, sir? Yes. What is the meaning of this? What do you want with me? I want the truth from you, Doctor. Well, if it's about the bomb... I know all about the bomb and your association with Weaver and the Grimbold Steel Plant. What I want to find out is for whom are the Grimbold people making these bombs? I don't know. I don't know a thing about it. Tell the truth, Doctor. If you don't, it may cost the lives of many people. I've told you the truth. I don't know. Nobody does, except Manning and the people he's working for. They're expecting a telephone call from Manning now, any moment. I didn't know what Weaver and I were letting ourselves in I for. I heard that when I came in. Keep an eye on the doctor. Hello. Hey, Luca? Yeah. Now get this straight. I'm leaving the mill right away to deliver the bomb. Yeah. Tonjes will fly his plane to the field on Fulton Road, just south of Claremont, where he'll transfer to our other plane. Did you get that? Yeah. Leave Dolan to guard Bedlow. Then you'll get over to that field and watch Tonji's plane. He'll be leaving there within 20 minutes, so make it snappy. Okay. We're leaving you here, Doctor. You'd better call the police to get these men and take you home safely. Come on. other plane. All right. know his business. He ought to. He's a deserter from the artillery. That's Tom just now. Don't forget 
Yeah, give them plenty of time to bail out and get in the clear. I know. Don't fire right at the plane. We want that shell to explode about 500 yards above and behind it. I'll take care of that. Before Tonja's plane crashes. Go ahead and shoot. 